James, thanks for joining me, man. How different is this world versus what you know exists down at the futures level? Yeah, the difference between yeah, sort of here and, and yeah, the sort of futures is, yeah. is big. Um, I actually I played the French Open this year, um, and then uh, because I didn't want to use protected ranking every week, uh -huh. I went and played the futures the following week in uh, Antalya in Turkey. No, you so, didn't go to Antalya. Yeah, so I went there. So I played French Open. I played Chilich first round. Uh -huh. and we played on Philip Chapman. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I was watching. Um, and Come on, then, man. Uh, Watch it. And then uh, yeah, the following week I'm in Antalya, Turkey, and uh, you know it's just chalk and cheese the difference the, yeah. the courts there were, were, were really average Crazy, um, yeah. and there's sort of like divots and stuff through the course there the uneven lines are popping up um, yeah. you know there's there's one one chair umpire there's no no linesman no it's ball brutal. boys um, you know there's you don't get power raids on court that sort right. of stuff like uh, you can't get new balls for practice yeah. um, even you even when you show up no, they don't care that no, it's you no new balls nothing um, amazing and you know when you, when you, you're in the sort of the, the practice courts and there there was actually in, at that site there's all these sort of chickens and stuff running around the back of your court going nuts right. and um, you know the courts aren't aren't swept yeah. aren't water that sort of stuff and it, it's just yeah it's completely different um, right. so it makes you sort of appreciate these these weeks uh, sure. a, a lot more since sure. uh, you know coming from that. And how is your mentality going from playing Chilich on Chatrier to Antalya? Is it different for you like? When you wake up in Antalya, you're like, ah, fuck? Or is it like, okay, I'm, this is just part of it? Yeah, look, I mean, it was, it de I'm, I'm not going to lie, it definitely was sort yeah. of tough, um, yeah, going from that, that massive yeah. difference. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I sort of had to look at it in the sense that at least I'm back playing, at least I'm healthy. I would much rather be in Antalya playing yeah. a, you know, a, a not great future rather yeah. than be back home in Australia injured, rehabbing. For sure. um, yeah, and, and tennis is a sport I love. So, so just, just being out there, you know, I was, I was still appreciative. Yeah. How has it been back? How's it back being at this level versus like challengers and futures? Um, yeah, it's nice. I mean, um, like I just said to you earlier, out for you know pretty much 18 months. Um, yeah, had, had five surgeries, uh, three yeah. on my foot, one on my shoulder, one on my elbow. So yeah, it was a really tough process. And were you um, just back in Australia during those 18 months? Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, back there. That's where I had all my surgeries. Um, that's where I've got my uh, my fitness trainer and my, my physio. So yeah, yeah, I was um, yeah doing doing my rehab there. And what were you? Were you at all thinking, man, it's over? Uh, there was some point. Yeah, there were certain times with um, my foot. So the the foot was the, the biggest issue. Yeah. Issue. I had three surgeries on that. Um, the the major one was a navicular stress fracture. Okay. Um, so they had to go in and put a couple of pins in my navicular, which is yeah, one of the, the main bones of the foot. And um, yeah, there was a yeah a, a period there where um, you know I just I couldn't run. I couldn't yeah. um, you know put force through through my. So what are you doing those days? Um, chill. Yeah, it was it was tough. I mean, it was just like always consulting different doctors, yeah. trying trying to get you know different scans, different reasons as, as to why, trying to work out your yeah, ways to, to yeah sort of get get that functioning back in my foot. And um, I think it was really was the, the last surgery that, that I had. Um, but I had to go in and, and just clear a few bone spurs um, in my foot to stop the, the, the pinching when I would sort of push off to, to run and to hop. Um, and yeah, ever since I had that last surgery yeah, in January, I've, I've been uh, been pretty yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. And where are you right now in terms of your career versus what you thought it would be when you start out playing futures and challengers? And you yeah. just have some points versus now you're here. Yeah. Um, where are you in your opinion? Well, I mean, look, I guess at the start, you're never really sure where you're going to get to ranking-wise. And then, um, sort of uh, 2015, I you know, cracked that top 100, um, you know, got to 80 yeah. in, in the world. You played um, Unreal for uh, yeah, I was, that I was year. Playing, yeah, I was playing you know, pretty well, but then um, you know, I had a few injuries then as, as well. And um, you know, I felt like, actually, the back end of 2016, um, I was starting to play my best tennis. So I got to 103 in the world, yeah. um, and I had no points in defense months but then this, this foot issue um, you know, started up so I, I felt like then yeah I was, I was sort of a real shame to sort of push um, push above that sort of career high and maybe look towards that sort of top, top 50 top, top 30 yeah. um, sort of ranking but uh, yeah those injuries sort of set me back and sure. um, you know right now I'm, I'm just trying to you know, stay healthy that's that's the main priority I feel yeah. like if I can stay healthy um, you know hopefully I, I can get back to that, that level consistently yeah, man, thank you. I don't want to take too much of your time. No worries. Thanks. Good to meet no you. Thanks. Best of luck this week. Thanks.